This is uh, page 533, number two. Uh, you can see that we have a right triangular prism. Um, the right means that uh, the lateral edge is an altitude or a height, uh, meaning that the lateral edge is perpendicular and we have rectangles here for the lateral faces. And the triangular is the uh, name of the bases. So we have a triangle as the base and then we have a prism. Um, and so <clears throat> when we find the volume of a prism, um, the volume is equal to big B times big H, where big B is the area of the base and H is the height of the prism. And so uh, this is going to be the triangle. And so what we really need to do is find the area of the base first. And to do that, I'm just going to kind of focus on this triangle up top. So we can see that this side of the triangle is three. We can see that it meets at a right angle. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and draw what we've got going on here. Uh, so we know that the top and bottom, the two bases are right triangles. Um, we know that one leg is three. We don't know the other leg. And from the top, we don't know the hypotenuse. Um, but if we look at the bottom triangle, um, opposite the 90 degrees, because it would follow straight down, uh, would be 5. So the hypotenuse is going to be 5, um, which means that we can use Pythagorean theorem or our Pythagorean triples to find the other side right here. Um, we need that in order to find the area of the base because we need, uh, for a triangle, area equals 1 half base times height, and the base and height have to be perpendicular. So our base is 3, our height is uh, whatever this side is right here. So we have 3 squared plus b squared equals 5 squared. So it's going to be 9 plus b squared equals 25. Subtract 9 from both sides. We get b squared is equal to 16. And then we take the square root of both sides and we get b is equal to 4. Um, so uh, this over here, this is a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. Um, and so to find the area of the base, the area is equal to 1 half times 3 times 4. Now remember, this is all multiplication, so we get to choose our order. We can do 3 times 4 is 12, cut in half is 6. We can do half of 4 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, regardless, we are going to get that the area of the base is 6, and uh, it looks like we're in centimeters, so all of the measurements are in centimeters. So this is centimeters squared. And then uh, when we go to find the volume, we're gonna do the area of the base times the height of the prism. So we have the area of the triangular base is six centimeters squared. And if you take a look here, it's like we're stacking these triangles to create the volume and we're going four units high. And so um, the volume is going to be uh, six centimeters squared times the height, which is four centimeters. Um, six times four is 24 centimeters squared times centimeters. We add the exponents. So two plus one is three. So our volume is equal to 24 centimeters cubed.